All right, guys, welcome back to my videos. Um, I'm excited to be uh, recording some more gameplay for you guys. Um, it's been a while. Uh, I was busy with, oh my gosh, what is going on? All right, clearly, as you can see, I've not been, no, what the fudge? Okay, I do not like this. Oh my gosh. All right. So three, six, yeah, we're going to mulligan. Ah! Okay, this is retarded. Okay, this is stupid. Go away. Okay, um, I don't even know what the hell you're supposed to do. Uh, okay, wait, what? Jesus, that's so annoying. Alright, so as you can tell, I have not been on Octagon for a while. Um, I was busy with, uh, Getting ready for Worlds, um, First Edition. There's been a lot of stuff with First Edition as well. Um, it's not great, but it's not terrible. <clears throat> um, I'm looking forward to getting back to recording, though. So uh, let me know if there's anything in particular you guys are looking to see. Um, I did build the fealty deck for every house with the new cards. Um, now that world is done, I'm kind of just like looking at uh, experimenting for a little bit. And apparently control D is not draw anymore. Well, that's annoying. <clears throat> okay. It's not, definitely, that's definitely a better start than what I had. Um, I think I'm going to just try to get the queen of thorns into play right away. Yeah, I'm not going to have, like, any military strength to start off, but that's... It is what it is. Um, yeah. Well, let's just do that. <clears throat> so, trying some, uh... I think that's his plot. Yeah. Well, yeah, that picked out quick. Didn't even see what I had set up first to see what... <laughs> Alright. So, no because, no because. He has initiative... And he will go first. He gets plus two at this, so that's fine. I was gonna hit control D again, but that didn't work. Alright, so Queen of Thorns into the Knight of Flowers is really good. Um, also I'm gonna try to do the Sam Bratz tech. <laughs> or I hope I pronounced your last name right. Uh, the guy that won worlds. He uh, milk of the poppy and a naval superiority is really nice. Um Holy buckets. Alright, so this is kind of annoying. He definitely has less than four gold, but you know. Uh, so how much have we paid? Um, three, four, five. Okay, so what did he set up? So he set up this. So reduced by three, four, five. So it should have cost him two gold. Oh. Three, four, five, six. Never mind. Yeah, because... So one, four, five, six. Wow, jeez. Okay. I kind of wish I just would have uh, naval superiority then. That would have been nice. <laughs> so this is a good start. And saving a gold. Alright. So I have five, six gold. So let's just reduce by one. Put this guy out. 
So if I reduce by one, three, so that would cost me four. I definitely put this on initiative, whoops. All right, so I had six gold. Reduce by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, fealty, fealty is good if you remember to use it. So that's one, two, three, four. So that cost me three, and I had six gold. All right, we're on a, we're on track now. Sorry about that. So now I still have three gold which is not a great amount. Um, I want to milk Asha, I think. I think she's more annoying right now. Um, <clears throat> so he has one gold, so I'm able to use High Garden and Hands Judgment and possibly Elena's Cunning. So I can do a lot of things here, so I'll just pass with two gold. Targ Fealty. So he has We Do Not Sow, which I'd be okay if that's his plan because I have the Hands Judgment. Um, I do want to be able to win my entry challenge, though. Military, so that's going to be unopposed. Let's see if he does a we do not so. Um, I think I just get rid of the dupe right now. And I will cancel that. If he has his own cancel, I'm in trouble, but... Alright, boom. That's big. So if he does an intrigue with Crow's Eye, I'll probably just let it go into the pose. Um, just cause, well, I guess I could win the intrigue anyways. Hmm. Yeah, if he does the intrigue, I'll, I'll stand and remove him. Possibly, I mean, I'd also like to be able to just do Elena's Cunning. Um, well, the power is definitely going to be unopposed. You can win that one. I don't care. I do know you don't want to give Greyjoy a ton of power, but I also am half tempted. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Alright, he's got it. Now he's going to be able to get the high garden, so that's annoying. Uh, see so what he has left. Intrigue? Is this only as the attacker? No. Alright, so I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, shoot, he can bump it. Oh my gosh, good play. Because if I defend with eight... Wow, yeah. Alright, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do here. Um, six, seven, eight. Nope. Okay, it's gonna be an oppose. All these cards are good. I hope 
hits one of the raider people. Alright, so we discard that. Then we give him that. That's gross. That's that's actually really big. Felt good having the cancel. But it is what it is. I mean I could have maybe defended this, but it didn't seem worth it. So now I have to do or do you have any gold? I don't think so, because he did that and then that, so. Alright, so he can't do this this turn. So. I think I'd just do an entry with her then. Alright, let's I'm assuming he's gonna name character because of the Queen of Thorns. Alright, yep. But thankfully for me I at least have a good one to get still. Um tears, I can't even play this turn. Um, uh, getting that's not terrible. Let's basically draw three cards next turn. I think I'm going to actually do that. Risen from the sea. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, so I was on a pose. Um, I think I have to do a military. This is going to make it really hurt when I want to play a whatever that one's called. <clears throat> My jousting contest. Alright, I mean, I didn't have a bad turn, it's just he had a crazy good turn, so. So I think I'm going to do naval superiority, try to make him have no gold, then he can't even use the high garden. Because <clears throat> my guess is he's going to confiscate to get rid of the Asha thing, which I'd rather just be able to counter that, because... She's going to go off crazy. I don't have, like, any military strength. Um, I don't know. That first turn went pretty much as good as he could have hoped for, so. Yep. All right, so at least he's going to get no gold. Um, whoops. Oh, gosh. Where'd you go? <laughs> it's hiding. <laughs> Oh, there he went. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so five. So I have initiative. Who do I want to go first? Uh, probably him. Just to see what he does. Um... Yeah, I'll just have him go first. The plus one difference could matter, but... Alright, getting a keen throw is nice. So he's a zero gold. One reducer, so... Alright, sounds good. 
So I have three gold. We'll draw three cards. Um, Hootie. Did you not kill anyone? Did you? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think he took a claim last turn. Because if. Alright. Okay, so that's big. Because now I will try to tears. So I think I'm just going to play the Rose World. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to use Keen's Road because that just gives them to him. So we'll just play that and pass. I'll save Oodles of Gold. <clears throat> But, see, like, this is nice. It just kind of cancels it out, so. Yep. That'll be unopposed. It could. We do not sell my gold, which would be annoying. Alright, we're going to try to come back. It's not going to be easy, but it's definitely closer than what I first thought it was. <clears throat> I think grabbing this last turn was definitely the right move. I mean, if you did a power and stealth, the Knight of Flowers, it's probably going to pose. I mean, stealth this guy, I mean. Um, I think I just defend this. I'm okay with losing. Is he up to 5, 6 power? And done. Interesting. So, 8 intrigue. No gold. Um, I wish I could win a military. <clears throat> huh. I'm trying to think how I can do this. Um, Maybe I just want a power challenge and be happy. <clears throat> Alright, so this is an intrigue for eight. So unless he has some weird strength buff that I don't know. Alright, so actions. That's reduced by one, two. Let's play this for free. You might say event now. Alright, character. Interesting. I'm half tempted to just go get another tears. Or a Marjorie. Oh no, I can't. Um, growing strong is okay. I'm going to do a power for 10 versus 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's just get it growing strong. Let's trigger her to put him into play 
and we'll pay one to Tears Asha. Oh no, I'd already paid the one, my bad. <clears throat> All right, so now if I do a power for 10, yeah, let's just do a power with both of them. You will have six, eight military to my five, six, seven. So if he doesn't defend with Crow's Eye, I'm not going to use Growing Strong. I may not even use it, even if he does, just because it would just kill Osh anyways. So. Okay. So add, bump, bump. So now I'm at six to five. It's definitely not worth using right now, so I'll be done. Alright, and he gets Dom, which I don't really care about a ton. Alright, now it's looking significantly better. Uh, he'll probably wildfire now. That would be my guess. I don't think I'm running March in this deck. So, the best counter here is probably just do a Calm. I'll have five gold. Gives me some things I can do, so. <clears throat> or Game of Thrones, but Crow's Eye is he's pretty good, especially if I have to keep these two, so I don't think Game of Thrones is the right call this turn. So let's just play Calm over Westeros. Okay, all right. Or I'll just give him a lot of gold. I wonder if he's not playing Wildfire because this seemed pretty promising. You give it two guys and one's a big character. <clears throat> um, I think I'm just gonna say power. Five, six, seven, eight. eight. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not a bad draw up. Get to draw some cards. I get to have this guy stand like twice this turn. All right, I'm liking my chances. It's going to be a lot of, like, can I just get to 15 power? <clears throat> and that hurts it. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I can get Randall strong enough to defend, so... This is only attacking, right? Yep, okay, so that's good. So I can, I should be able to defend Balon for days with Randall, actually, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> what else you doing, man? I probably should have got another Tears. That was probably a mistake. But we'll see. Growing and Strong can easily win me the game, too, at the same time. So we save three gold. That's kind of scary. So I have six gold, because these cancel out. Um, I'm feeling bold. Let's choke myself. Alright, so we got Claim Soak. Um, I want Randall's sword on him. <clears throat> Now this is tricky. Really don't want to use Keen's Road.
especially when I don't need to use it. Uh, it's not bad to use it either, though. Um, just once he gets to the point that he just recycles Keen roads, Keen's roads all the time, it gets really annoying. Um, I also don't want to play into Wildfire too much, so. You know what, I'm just going to pay the two gold for this guy, and be done. I'll save three gold. Because <clears throat> now I can at least defend Balon challenges. He can get him up to five, six, seven strength. I can get Randall up to eight strength, so... Intrigue, huh? For six. So if he hits the growing strong, that would be annoying. I think I just defend... <clears throat> this is only a Tyrol character, isn't it? Yeah. Um... I think I just defend it. Alright, let's hit a uh, raider guy. Alright, perfect. And he gets a growing strong off the top of my deck. There's no... No locations, so... That's not bad. <clears throat> Do you gotta be careful about what I do uh, challenge wise with this though. <coughs> so this is kind of funny because if he bounces like Randall out of him, this still uh, affects him. A military for three. Mill. Alright, so for five, six, seven. This is only attacking characters, right? Alright, so he's probably just gonna bounce his own guy. Um, I'm pretty sure in 2.0 though, the challenge still does go on, even if he doesn't have any characters. I thought I remember hearing about that. I know in first edition it ended, but... Alright, so I got power. That's pretty big. Alright, so let's do an entry with both of these guys. So that... No matter what, <clears throat> I'm going to, alright, I am totally okay with that. I wasn't going to put anyone to play anyways. So I have my one strength that should still win it. Alright, so it's unopposed. I have no actions. For once. <laughs> Alright, so we discard. Okay, I mean, it's a, it's a body. Um, so, military with him is virtually unopposed. Hmm. Alright, so, fine. I don't think it's worth wasting my growing strong right now. So I'm going to just do military with just him, I think. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so he's going to defend it. Mm, that's interesting. He may not have wildfire then if he's doing that. And I might as well just do a power with him. <clears throat> if he doesn't have wildfire, this game's over. I have it then. Yep, defend. My power, power. <clears throat> All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm at 12 power. I don't think I have any good plot cards though. Um, I really don't want to play jousting contests because of High Garden. But, I think it's what I have to play. Um, I don't want a wildfire. Game of Thrones. He has six, a possible eight to my... Uh, it's not that high, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I should be able to still win it. If he doesn't wildfire. If he doesn't wildfire. I mean, if he does wildfire, I'm in trouble. <sighs> this is actually really annoying. None of my plots are good. I think Jousting Contest is the safest. But High Garden is really annoying. How much power does he have? He has just five. So I think I'm okay with just throwing one game away. Or one turn away. I think I do Game of Thrones. Um <clears throat> just because if he goes first, um, he'll have to go in with Crow's Eye then, and then I'm I should be fine to attack back. If he doesn't wildfire, if he if he wildfires, then it's like, all right, I'm just not going to do anything this turn. But that's that's not the end of the world. I really just want him to play an attachment so I can confiscate it. <laughs> he must not have wildfire, or else it would be like a snap decision at this point. I'd be down to these three guys. Gets rid of four characters. All right. Well, it's kind of annoying. It may make me. It may make him have me go first. All right. Okay. I'm okay with him going first. That's actually really good for me. And this is a clear sign that he does not have a wildfire. But I don't know. Why didn't he play the two cost character last turn? He still would have been able to high garden. Did he have a put to the sword he was trying to use? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so he rage quit. Uh, it's kind of annoying when people do that. Because it was actually a pretty good game. That was a huge comeback. Um, this card is amazing. Bananas. Three of in every Tyrell deck. Alright, because like, let's say I would have just done it again this turn. I mean, you, you're gonna get a card that cancels it out. So, I mean, as long as you have enough economy to get your cards out, you're fine. Uh, the tears was big. Um... I do think I outperformed him a little bit. Not not, not a ton, but it was a good game. Alright guys, uh, let me know if anything that you know of that can help improve the games that I stream. Um, or if anything there's that you want to see in particular. Alright, uh, it's good to be back recording after my uh, long absence. And I'm looking to get a few more games in even probably today. Alright, bye guys.